guys, thank you again for joining us for the One Coin Only Arcade Challenge. And we've got a classic game by Sega today. We're going to be playing Fantasy Zone, and it came out in 1986. This is a really, really cute game, but it's a very, very good free roaming horizontal shooter at the same time. Uh, here we go, you got a little bit of a backstory. I don't remember it too, even though I played this game a lot growing up, I don't remember the backstory a whole pile. Um, simply because the gameplay was so addicting. The gameplay in this is so good, it's almost like the backstory doesn't even matter. Uh, you basically play this robot ship uh, that's called Opera, Opera, I think, and you're pretty much going to power up all your weapons, uh, fight a whole pile of bosses, and uh, save the universe. That's pretty much all there is to it, and you're going to have a hell of a lot of fun along the way. Um, you can travel to across both sides of the screen. It is a vertical shooter, but you're not limited to going in one direction. Uh, so in the way, it's got that kind of early sort of open world sort of feeling to it. I know that's probably making it overstating things a little bit, but I mean, you do have freedom to travel around the screen. Um, I think what you have to do is shoot these little hubs, as you can see that there's a couple dead ones on the ground. Um, I think they spawn enemies and stuff. Once you've killed all of them in a single world or stage, uh, you'll come across an epic boss battle. And along the way, uh, you can collect coins, pick up money, and a shop will randomly appear. And you can use that to buy lives or upgrade your weapons and, uh... Yeah, you, there really is a strategy involved with how you customize your ship depending on what weapons you like and what weapons are best against certain enemies and uh, it's a thinking man shooter. It's just a very, very fun game that's packaged in a, a very cutesy style and um, even though the presentation is just very, very bubblegum, very, very happy, jingly, um, there's a no-nonsense shooter involved here, and I, I just can't say enough nice things about the experience. It is a great game. So we're going to see how long we can last now. As you can see, shit's starting to get real now. Business is picking up. I'm hoping I'll be able to get at least to uh, one boss battle for you. Um, I've forgotten which gauge shows you how many of these, these things you've killed. I'm trying to keep track. I think it might be that gauge at the very bottom of the screen in the center that you can see, but I'm not sure. We'll work it out as we go along. We'll find out after we shoot this thing. I'm surprised the shop hasn't rocked up yet. That looks like we've gotten rid of all of them. Um, I thought a boss battle was supposed to pop up now. So we'll find... Yeah, here we go. There is. So this is some kind of weird tree boss. You've got to shoot it in the mouth and it'll spit a whole pile of leaves or whatever out at you. Um, pretty creative boss. Um, you know, you'll see bosses like this in games like R-Type and uh, Radius and stuff. But, you know, as I said, it's just disguised in a real cutesy, colourful, cute skin. Um, but the gameplay is just as serious and addictive. There we go. You know what? I, I, I grew up playing this on the Sega Master System. Oh, I want to collect all this money, hey. Damn. Can't you snooze, you lose. I grew up playing this on the Sega Master System. I can honestly tell you guys, I found this version... I find this version to be a lot easier than that one. Um, you know, I'd struggle to last a few minutes in the Sega Master version, here we're having a hell of a run right now. I know it's only three minutes in, we don't want to get too carried away, but... Here you go, we'll pick the laser beam. And see what we're... Ah, here we go, now we're talking. And this is, uh, rapid fire too, which is really, really cool. So I just hold my thumb on the button, and, uh, we're going ham. Without having to go to any real effort tapping our thumb. So we're not going to cramp up in the wrist, that's really, really good. Um, no, but seriously guys, this is unique actually, because a lot of shooters require a lot of tapping to the point where I'm actually not used to holding the thumb button down. But, um, I mean, technically, um, you do have automatic fire, but, um, when you've got this regular power up here, um, you don't shoot very fast when you hold your thumb down, so that's pretty typical of shooters. You're encouraged to tap as quick as you can. Uh, but that laser was just going hand by itself, so I can't wait to get that power up again. Just trying to work out what other buttons there are. Yeah, you've got a basic shoot button, and I forgot you can drop these little rocket things too. I didn't feel the need to use any of those yet, though. Well, just dodging stuff. I'm kind of playing it real safe at the moment. This is the soundtrack. I love the soundtrack in this game. It's just so happy. Getting really caught in the moment here. 
time to fight, you know. I don't even know what half these enemies are. I guess some things just don't need to be explained. I've noticed that every time you get close to destroying all the bases, the difficulty starts to ramp up. I feel like there's more things flying at me now. I kind of felt like the last level was more difficult than this. I'm just trying to find where that other base thing is. Oh, treasure hunting. Here we go. It's at the bottom of the screen. Awesome. Looks like we've got another boss battle already. Just collecting this gold. Seriously, there's some really cool power-ups in this game, but you need to... I think it'd be smart to actually try and get as far as you can. Uh, without buying any until you absolutely need to, because money is a real precious commodity in this. Like, I mean, you'll see a lot of gold drops, um, but most of the really cool stuff you get, this is actually quite expensive. And bang, yeah, I just got fucked up. Excuse my language. That is a little bit annoying. Um, you have to start boss battles all over again if you lose a life. But, you know, it's at the same time, that kind of makes the experience uh, more hectic and intense. Uh, so I guess it's a positive and a negative. Uh, this boss was actually the boss that featured on the cover of the Sega Master System version. Very tricky, actually. So we're in sudden death now. We're on our last life, unfortunately. Alright, we'll try again. Confidence, Rick. Confidence. Man, this is such a fun game. If you haven't played this before, you have to treat yourself to this version if you can. The Sega Master System version is a classic, but uh, after playing this one for the first time, this is the definitive experience for sure. And as always, guys, thank you for joining us for one coin only. If you like what we do, please share, subscribe, get involved in the comments below, and tell your friends about us. Make sure they come too, and we'll see you next time.